Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Dr. Jared's Science Shenanigans. And today, we are going to learn about insulators and conductors. A conductor allows energy to pass through it. And an insulator stops or slows down that energy from being able to pass through it. So today what we're going to do is we're going to look at a couple examples of insulators and conductors and actually see if they will light up this light bulb. So right here we have a complete circuit. A complete circuit because the light bulb is on. So the energy is flowing through all of the wires, through the battery, and it is now um, producing light. If I was to take that apart, take these wires apart, then it will stop the flow of energy. Now, what I want to do is we have some objects here and I want to see which one of these are insulators and which one of them are conductors. Again, an insulator, the energy cannot flow through it. It stops it or slows it down. But a conductor allows the energy to flow through it. So let's see. So I have a Starbucks card right here, and it's made out of plastic. Do you think it's an insulator or a conductor? Let's see. So I'm going to attach my alligator clips to it, and there is nothing happening here. We have no um, light for our light bulb. So does that mean it's an insulator or a conductor? You're right. It's an insulator. All right. Let's try, I have a straight end uh, paper clip. So let's see what will happen. And it is a conductor, conductor. What about a balloon? What do you think, insulator or conductor? Let's try it out. And there's no light, so that means it is a insulator. What about a piece of tape? What do you think? And it is a insulator. I have a can here. What do you think? Insulator or conductor? And it is a conductor. A piece of paper. What do you think? Insulator or conductor? Go ahead and turn and talk to your neighbor and find out. What do they think? Let's try it out. Insulator. It is not producing, not allowing um, energy to flow through. And then we have a rubber band. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen with this rubber band? And it is... A insulator. We have a pin. So I'm going to attach, I'm going to hold the, um, on the plastic part of the pin. The plastic part of the pin is a insulator. But there's also a metal part of the pin. Let's try that out. Let's see what happens there. Let's see if I can attach it on to the metal part. Let's see. So this particular item, which is our pin, has portions of the pin that is the insulator, which will be the plastic part, and the metal part, that would be our conductor. And this is a Sharpie, and with this Sharpie, there's no metal on this Sharpie. It's only plastic. So what do you think, insulator or conductor? And you're right, it's an insulator. And we have a knife. What do you think, insulator or conductor? Let's see. It is a conductor. And we also have this big, 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 um, like a bolt or nail. Let's see what it is. It is a conductor of electricity. And then we have our uh, Sharpie highlighter. What do you think? Insulator or conductor? Let's see. And it is a insulator. So what's important for us to remember is insulators of electricity. Electrical energy cannot flow or pass through that object. But a conductor of electricity, electrical energy can flow or pass through that object. Remember, metals are conductors. Metals 
are conductors. Um, and some of the insulators can be rubber, cotton, wood, plastic, paper, and the items that we used here today. So I would like to thank you for joining me for another episode of Dr. Jarrett's Science Shenanigans. See you soon, and I would like you to like, share, and comment on the videos.